With close to 900 games shown at Essen Spiel this year, it is too hard to see them all in only five days, let alone play everyone. Even so, I have chosen my top 10 favorite games of Essen 2013. These are the games that I personally enjoyed the most. Instead of games you probably already know, like the Game of the Year, or games featured on Board Game Geek and Fair Trade's top lists, I will focus on games that might have been overlooked, but in my opinion are just as good, if not better. Number 10. Wolf by Smiling Monster Games. This Boy Who Cried Wolf themed card game is an exercise in quick deduction. Each player is given a secret role and task. For example, the player who is the boy is trying to find the wolf and the sheep, and the sheep is trying to find the hunter and dog before the other players figure out who is who. Players get a boost for voting early if they're right, and a penalty if they're wrong. Number 9. Das Labyrinth des Pharaoh by Crimsis Crimscrams Kista Games. This game takes the idea of solving potentially the same exact puzzle and sees who can do it better. There isn't as much player interaction as I normally like, but it's a fresh new game for pure strategic competition. Number 8. Fox and Chicken by Sprocket Games. Another party-style family game that I am happy to add to my collection and looking forward to bringing out at game nights. Yes, it's just a remake of games like Mafia and Werewolf, but it's one I can happily include children in playing, and it's nice to have the game set up in an easy-to-explain way. Plus, I find all the cultural references quite funny. Number 7. Githsvega, which I think means Garden Gnome, by Jehox Games. Okay, this is the last family game on this list, I promise. But as far as family games go, it deserves to be here. If the game had come out 21 years ago, when it was first designed, it would be a classic today, and I wish kids all over the world were playing it. Players are trying to mow their lawns faster than their neighbors. It's a simple dice roll and move mechanic, but players decide where to move, and as they come across different action tiles, they have the ability to disrupt other players. The game designer finally decided to self-publish the game, and I'm glad he did. It will become a family favorite in my home, I'm sure. Number 6. Madeira by What's Your Game Moving away from family games and jumping right into heavy strategy, we come to this game. It might be the largest worker placement game I can think of at this moment. A lot of the time I can recognize the winning strategies in most games when I first learn the rules. But after having the game explained to me for over 30 minutes with this does that and you need these for those, I still wasn't quite sure where to begin and I love that. I really hope the game's replayability holds out because this game can fill my heavy strategy needs. Number 5. Mush Mush Snow Tales 2 by Fragger Games I like racing games a lot. This one might be my favorite yet. Up to 8 players race their two dog sleds around winding curves through trees and dodging buildings. In order to move, players place strength cards on their dogs, but the stronger dog pulls the sled towards their side. And this is what players must calculate in order to take the curves. This game is meant to play much faster than its predecessor. Number 4. Cubico Games I couldn't decide on just one of the many games at the Cubico booth, so I've decided to just say all of them. Fog of War, Steeplechase, Snaps, Yellow Jersey, Cubico, Hole of Doom, and more. When I first saw the games at Essen Warm-Up Day, I thought they were just simple wooden puzzle games, but I sat down anyways, and I'm glad I did, because what I discovered were elegant, complex, exciting, and extremely strategic games. Just playing with two players, I found myself challenged, and I can only imagine the fun of having four players. The rules are so simple, children and adults will equally like them. Number 3. Steam Noir A Revolution by Spielpunk Games I know I got this game earlier this year as part of the crowdfunding, and I've already talked about it quite a bit in my other videos, but it was still featured at Essen, and taking my copy to be signed by the designer was a highlight for me, and the game deserves another shout-out as number three on this list. Number two, Space Cadets Dice Duel by Stronghold Games. Wow, this game is a lot of fun, and I played it four or five times at the demo table. It's a team versus team real-time game. There are no turns or rounds as players work simultaneously to move their ship and blow up the opponents. Just like the bridge of a spaceship, each player is in charge of different stations. And I really enjoyed getting into the different roles. All power to rear shields! Full speed ahead! Fire torpedoes! Number 
one, Rockwell, by Sit Down Games. This is the game I will probably play the most and share with the most friends after Essen. It's a well-balanced worker placement game with a healthy amount of play interaction and cooperation. The artwork is crisp and the game board is unique. More than just placing workers, players also control giant drills mining towards the center of the earth. The game ends when one player completes any six of nine possible missions, providing for plenty of variety, I think. Thank you for watching. Leave a comment sharing what games made your top 10. Be sure to subscribe to see my full reviews of these games as well as others and to see my how to play and five ways to win videos.